You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Dr. Kelly Brotsman, Executive Director of Hi. the Martin Richard Institute for Social Justice at Bridgewater State. Um, unfortunately, it took a tragedy mm -hmm. to do something um, really good yeah. for the state, the city, the locality, the, you know, everything. The tragedy at the marathon in Boston. Uh, I had the TV on. I was watching that day. Yeah, it's just another marathon, no mm -hmm. big deal. I, you know, I knew a few people in it. It was, and then mm -hmm. disaster struck, mm -hmm. and a beautiful little boy uh, lost his life. Yes. But the parents, instead of being in despair, mm -hmm. decided to, I would say, rise from the ashes and, yeah. and, and do something to help other people. Um, yeah. I remember his sign with his beautiful picture: "Stop yeah. hurting people." Yeah. Okay. No more hurting people. Well, there's we have a lot a, of that going yeah. on in life now, and you, you guys are going to change yes. that, right? Right. So the um, Martin Richard Institute will carry on um, Martin's legacy of um, kindness and um, concern for the common good. And it will do that by um, being a catalyst for actualizing Bridgewater's longstanding commitment to social justice. So we, as an institute, this will be our inaugural year, um, this academic year, and we will be designing and delivering concrete interventions in Southeast Massachusetts communities that will actually advance social justice. And we will also work with um, the, the Bridgewater uh, constituencies, students, faculty, staff, and also members of the local community to build knowledge and skills about how we can join together to further social justice in Southeast Massachusetts. That's a good mission statement in the elevator. You just went between the two floors very quickly, <laughs> so I, I commend Thank you for you. that. Thank um, you. But the first event is coming up real quick. It's yes. Sunday, October 1st. Yes. 3 o'clock. There's a concert. Yes. So, so tell us about it. Um, the Plymouth Philharmonic mm -hmm. is um, going to be performing a benefit concert for the Institute on Sunday, October 1st at 3 p.m. in the Rondelieu Campus Center at Bridgewater State. It's 19 Park Avenue for uh, navigation purposes. And the Plymouth Philharmonic is a major cultural force sure in is. Southeast Massachusetts. They've been around an awfully long time. And we were fortunate enough to have this benefit concert sponsored by uh, Santander Bank. Okay. And so all, proceed, all ticket proceeds will benefit the Institute. And the conductor of the Plymouth Philharmonic, some people may not know this, is the understudy for Keith Lockhart. And he has a the, long Greek name, which neither one of us can pronounce. Okay. I, I'll take a pass on that one. But. Okay. <laughs> but he, the Plymouth Philharmonic is a gem. Yes, okay? they And are. it's coming over to Bridgewater. So yeah. the concert, how, about how long is it? The concert's probably going to be around an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's family friendly. Um, children under 12, I think it's $10. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll be performing some popular tunes. They'll be performing some um, tunes from Broadway musicals, tunes from the, the movies. Um, but perhaps the highlight of the concert will be uh, the performance of Aaron Copeland's Lincoln Portrait, oh, okay. which has um, sections are narrated by a, a, a speaking voice, and that voice is going to be provided by Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy. Oh, that's very cool. I didn't know yeah. that. She, I'm, I'm a big yeah. fan. I know her. and I've Oh, do you? Yeah, oh, she's, excellent. She's, she's yeah. someone that does yeah. her job every day and really yeah. helps people. So, so she was very good to agree. Um, to be there live and to narrate those portions of the Lincoln portrait, so we're very excited about that. Now, will Martin's parents be involved at all in the actual, is, is there like a speaking role for them? Are, they gonna, are you, are you going to say um, anything on behalf of the Institute, or I'm just curious. I think our president, Fred Clark, is okay. going to say a few words. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. and Mrs. Richard um, really want to enjoy the concert, and so, mm -hmm. um, Having a, a speaking role for them, I think, might detract from their enjoyment of the concert. But where, they will be there. Where is the actual institute located on the campus? The institute is located in the Burrell Office Complex, okay. which is um, 95 Burrell Avenue in Bridgewater, mm. and it's right across from the Moakley Center. Okay. Um, and it's on the east campus. Bridgewater is divided east and west, so right. we're on the east campus. So, what? Is going to be. This is the inaugural year. Give this us like a preview year. of coming attractions if you have them okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. What 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 are you yeah. hoping to do? I'm sure there'll be lectures. I'm sure there'll be yes. you know mm -hmm. uh, you know things that tie to academic and classroom stuff. Prob 
possibly, I don't know if you're doing field trips with different area schools. Tell me. Yeah, so the um, Institute has already become the home of several programs that already existed at Bridgewater State. That includes the Community Service Center, so there will be a lot of service going on in the name of the Institute. They do alternative break trips for Bridgewater students, um, service trips over the holiday break and over the spring break. Okay. And so that program is housed um, in the Institute. We have the Jump Start program, which is a wonderful program that trains Bridgewater students to deliver um, language, literacy, and social-emotional skills to um, high-poverty preschools. And mm -hmm. so actually the Jumpstart Corps members are going to start coming to six preschools here in Brockton um, within the next few weeks. And so we have that program within the Institute. We also have the Bridge Partnership in the Institute, which is um, a partnership between Bridgewater and the Brockton Public Schools and the New Bedford Public Schools. Nice. So we bring between 100 and 200 um, disadvantaged middle school kids to our campus for two weeks um, every summer and the goal is to work with kids who are at risk of not successfully completing their education and um, work with them on aspiring to and being ready for post-secondary education so that program is also housed in the Institute we're we have several big events in the works, so we're hosting a series of four justice talks um, mm -hmm. on campus. All of the Institute's events will be free and open to the public. Um, we will be having on October 12th from 4.30 to 5.30, also in the Campus Center, we will be having a talk on immigration justice. Okay. These justice talks feature um, community experts, so really it's sort of the university learning from people out there with their boots on the ground. So we're, we have... Um, Sarong Sankatesh from the Massachusetts Immigrant, Immigrant and Refugee Advocacy Coalition. Yeah. And then we've got Helena Da Silva Hughes um, from the Immigrants Assistance Center in New Bedford and a panelist to be named later. Okay. And then we'll be having a panel um, in November on health justice and we'll be having a panel on just policing in December. So we'll be hosting one justice talk. It looks like Food will be, always be provided. Looks like you're going to be a regular here because we're going to promote them all. Right? Oh, excellent. Okay, I hope so. Well, that's Please do. Because Bridgewater State University, yeah. first of all, Fred Clark originally hailed mm -hmm. from Brockton. Then yes. Over to Easton, but he loves his Brockton roots. Very He's strong very Brockton strong connections. Very strong Brockton. And mm -hmm. this is the public university. Massasoit's right yep. here in Brockton, mm -hmm. two year school. Bridgewater's mm -hmm. four year school yeah. and beyond. And uh, yeah. there's been a lot of ties with Brockton, so we're really okay. happy to see everything tied yeah. in with the community and everything that's going on. So uh, just to recap, what do I have left? A minute? I have one. Okay, I'm going to take it unless you have okay. anything left no, to add. No, go okay. right ahead. So we have a, a wonderful concert on Sunday, October 1st from 3 to 4.30 over in the Rondolo Campus Center um, at, you said 19? 19. Park. Park Drive, Avenue. Park Avenue. Mm -hmm. Park Avenue. <laughs> Not that Park Avenue. And tickets are reasonably priced. If you have any questions, uh, phone number? Is there a phone number? Yes, they can call 508 531 2199. Okay. And you can also purchase tickets at bsutix.com. Perfect. Well, pleasure to Thank meet you. Thank you very and we'll much. We'll have you back. We appreciate it. I'm going to be there one way or the other, whether it's Great. with the camera. We want you to go, so don't wait for the video. That's right. But um, <laughs> or, or I'm going to be in the audience one way or the other. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.